hello 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 and welcome back to my channel i am facing my heat press because this is where the video is going to take place right here i don't have to go to my computer it's really not complicated of how i printed it out i can just tell you how i did it and we can go from there so today we are going to be doing that canvas that you saw of me and my two children and my thumbnail first of all you need the fabric okay to sublimate we are sublimating so you need fabric this fabric i got from hobby lobby and it's basically you just go and ask for an all white 100% polyester fabric is very nice. It's very soft. And you just cut off a piece of fabric that you want to use for this canvas. And I already did that, so I'm going to put this away. Okay. So this is the piece of fabric that I cut off, cut out. Okay. It don't, it don't have to be neat because you're going to be stapling it to the back of this canvas. Here's my canvas. I got this from Michael's. It was on sale. Also, I got this um, fabric from Hobby Lobby when it's on sale. So get your fabric when it's on sale. That's why I got so much, so much of it because I'm going to make a lot of these canvases. I think they're really cool. I made one for my daughter. Um, as y'all know, my daughter just had a baby and she uh, had a stillborn. So I made one for her. So y'all can, I can show you a picture of it right now. And I thought they came out so beautiful for her to have this for her child. And um, I'm going to make more because everybody else is asking for some more. So I'm going to make more. But I wanted to, I didn't want to make a picture of her on here because of the situation. So I'm going to make a picture of, of me and my, my two kids. Basically, this picture we took um, at the, um, at, this is the, um, at my daughter's, at my granddaughter's funeral. Okay. So this is the picture we took. And I did, we took it at the, we was at a restaurant. And I can show you that real quick. Okay, let me show you real quick. This is Silhouette. I know it's going to be a bad view vision, but I just wanted to show y'all how it, uh, and my ring light is in the way, of course. But this is how, okay, you can see a little bit better. This is the picture that we had. We was in a restaurant, the dinner after the funeral. And I just put a, basically a gold background. And the background came from Silhouette's background, okay? So something simple, something, because I just want to do this for this video. And plus, it's a beautiful picture. And I didn't want to have this background. So I just basically um, printed it at size 8.5 by 11. And I just basically mirrored it. And then I printed it out. Easy as pie. It's so easy. Like I said, and I just grouped the, um, I, I did take the background out with removalbackground.com. I have a video on how to do that. And I just basically put our picture on this gold background, sized it. And as you see, it's 8 by 10. And I use 8 and a half by 11 paper. Okay? That's how I did that. So this, let me show you real quick how I didn't measure this. Okay? Basically, when I cut it, I just took the, um, I just took this canvas. And I just set it on the canvas and I cut around it. When I cut it, I make sure I had enough fabric that would cover the edges. Okay? So that's how I did it. And as I did that, I made sure I had enough. And then I went on ahead and cut around, okay? So just measure it. You know, if you cut too much, it's fine. And just when you get it close to here, you can cut You can cut better when you get it on the canvas, okay? So that's how I did it. I didn't measure anything. Just go with your eye. If you want me to measure it now, I can. Let me go ahead and measure it real quick. So you're going to need about 11 by 13. 11 by 13. Like I said, this canvas is 10 well it's really eight by ten okay eight by ten and then you need that size fabric okay and there we have it so let me go ahead and first um what side i'm going to use i'm gonna use this side i'm gonna go ahead and get my lint roller and just get all the lint off like i said it's not straight it's okay i could straighten this off if i want to but y'all i'm a bad cutter so it's gonna be okay and cut it later if i want to but basically the um when i staple it it'll hide that okay so it's way off, <laughs> but it's okay because I'm I'm gonna staple it and make sure you get a staple gun. I got my staple gun from Walmart. Okay, so that's what I did. I do it on here and do it like do back. Then go ahead and press it to get the wrinkles out. A couple seconds. Okay. It really don't matter what side it is. I'm going to leave it on this side. And now I'm going to go ahead and straighten it out. It didn't really got that wrinkles out. I don't think it's close enough to the... Let me... This, this, this is so thin. Let me bring it down. My press a little bit down a little more. Okay. 
Yeah, this is so, so thin. You wanna know what I might do? I might put some more, I wanna put another piece of paper under here cause I wanna make sure it catch it, catches it. Cause I don't wanna keep on messing with the, um, my wheel on my. Let's go ahead and put my paper under here. Just so it can catch it. I wanna make sure it turns out right. Okay. That'll work. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the picture. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut around this picture, got a white off of it because I am gonna be using this whole picture for this canvas. And usually you don't have to cut the white off, but I'm just gonna do it just because <laughs> I want to. But some, you know, when you simply made the white don't show. But I'm just gonna cut it off today. And I'm using my fabric scissors, what I should be doing. You don't want to use your fabric scissors with your um, with paper because it will mess them up. And I just bought those scissors and I just learned. I heard <laughs> I really don't. This is my first time ever using fabric because I don't know how to sew. But I heard on YouTube they said never use your fabric scissors with your paper. So I'm gonna try to follow the rules because it's really hard to cut uh, fabric with bad scissors. Okay, so I got these little small scissors from Cricut. I can't find my other scissors, of course, because I'm doing a video. Okay, so I'm going ahead and cut this out. If you, um, I just did another video on the canvas. So check that video out too. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you a picture real quick. Here it is right here. Isn't she beautiful? It's basically a canvas on lamination paper. So check that video out so you can see how I did that. Okay. But now I'm doing, um, sublimation on the canvas on fabric. Okay. So basically, I just basically put my paper, my, um, I want to put it in the middle of this because you want to make sure you, you turn this over this is going to be flipping over to the back so let me make sure it's center in the middle so you better have time you have room to fold that over so you will have white which is okay basically remove the fabric when you get it on the canvas so now you just get your tape you just tape it on here so it won't move I'm sorry if you see my tattoo of my granddaughter. I do have a tattoo of my granddaughter. I just got it and it's peeling, so it looks it don't look too good now. So I'm not gonna show anybody. So if you look at it, like, oh, what's wrong with her, with her arm? Yeah, it's just a tattoo that I just got, but it's peeling, so it looks it's in its ugly stage. But I pray that it's pretty after it's finished. I'm um, healing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. And, I got everything together. Got it taped. Got it on the fabric. Make sure it don't move. I got it on here in the middle, and I'm gonna cover it back up. And voila, we're gonna go ahead and push this in here and let it go for um on my heat press. I do. 385 for 60 seconds because my heat press get really hot but since this is fabric we're gonna see how it works because sometimes it be playing tricks on me and every time i get in a video it sometimes mess up with of course but if you like the, the content of the video please subscribe um hit the red bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos yes i do new videos probably twice a week um share the video please give me thumbs up if you like it if it's, it's if this video is helpful please give me thumbs up and comment i maybe i maybe i do some i mean i do respond as far as probably give you hearts and stuff because i have so many new subscribers i have so many people um commenting so believe me i i, I read your comments and i appreciate you all but sometimes i just don't have time to you know answer all the questions at that at, quickly but i try to get to you if you ask me questions um to check out my website www.charmingalboutique.com and my etsy page um, Charming Gal, my Etsy page is Charming Gal Boutique number two. Also, I have a um, Facebook group called Brown Girls Crafty Cricket, and I also have a um, Facebook group called Sublimation Blanks and Creations. If you're into sublimation, okay. okay let's see how this look, y'all. Okay. I always get excited if I turn the whole tear the whole thing off. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Nice and beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna stay on this heat press because I don't want to maneuver my camera around. So I'm just gonna stay here and we're gonna finish doing it. I could have went a little bit longer because there's a lot of colors still on his on here, but it's cool because it came out wonderful. I like it. So let me throw this stuff away. Let me go ahead and um Make sure no green ink on here. It's out the way, so it makes it no ink on there. Don't do it on my little thing. Okay, here's my um 
canvas and I'm going to just see how I can measure it up to make sure it's you can see all of the um picture and you have to pull and maneuver it so we'll it will this really is some this really this fabric really stretch a lot okay so I'm gonna make sure because if I pull it it's going to pull it over some so I'm gonna pull it over a little bit here see how it stretch I love this fabric it's so nice Okay, so I'm gonna start with the top first, okay, y'all? Because we don't have to do too much. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's gonna show some. No, it won't. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the top. So it won't show the white parts up, up, on top of here. Okay, so I'm gonna just grab it to see, to make sure all of it's. I see some color and not the white. So that's good right there. So I'm not gonna really tug at this part. I'm just gonna place it like that. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna take it and flip and fold it. And it's a way you can um you could do it the way however you want to do it. But this is mine, so it's not gonna be too perfect. But if I was giving it to someone, I'll make sure it's all cut nicely and tucked nicely. So I just basically get the stapler. Go ahead and staple it like I need it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this side right here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the, the bottom last. Okay. I'm going to just do this part first, the top first. Like I said, I got this um, stapler from Walmart. Make sure it's down so it won't. And now what I need to do, see how it's, the color is coming over because you don't want no white up here. So I make sure that don't, so now I can pull it now so I can see how I want it. So I'm going to pull this about this much right here and try to even it all up on this side. Okay. Just like so. Take it down. I'm going to do the bottom first, y'all. <laughs> I'm scared I'm on a video now, so I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. So I did the other one perfectly for my daughter. So I'm going to just do the bottom first and so I can make sure I can pull enough so I can, won't have to see this white. So this white right here on me showing. See, I did it. It's not long enough. So it's okay, though, because look at that. You stretch it down. So let me do that real quick. I'm trying to find the best way to do it. I'm going to do the same way I did the, the um, top. It's up to you how many staples you want to put in your on your project. Just gonna pull it like that so I won't see the white. That's I love this fabric because it really stretched really well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put one in the middle. Right there. And I gotta look and see what I'm doing. Okay, I'll put one right here and right here. And if it doesn't work, you can still pull it some more, but that's perfect. So I'm gonna take this part right here and pull this part and go ahead and close it up. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry if I'm not in the camera. I'm just trying to concentrate, and I don't know what I'm doing as far as if I'm in the camera or not. <laughs> Make sure I don't mess up this fabric. There. Okay. So now you see all this right here. You see all this white over here? You don't want that to show? You just pull it. Don't, you don't have to do it that tight. Just pull it enough so you won't have that white showing. And now I can see I can do the same thing I did over here. Just look at it from the side angle and just pull it until I see some color. Okay. Start right here. <gasps> oh, 
Now look what I did. I put it too tight and it, 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 oh, it's cool because I didn't staple as much. But see how I pulled it too tight and it, and it basically showed that white, but it's okay because I didn't do the top yet. I don't know why I didn't, but I'm glad I didn't. So now I'm just go ahead and get that now, pull it. And it don't matter if this white is up here because it's going to be on the wall. You won't be able to see it. It's on the wall. Okay. But I'm just, I just don't want this part right here to show. So I'm going to go ahead and do this top part and we'll be all done, y'all. See this eye from the um side. If you like the um, also, I am affiliated with Amazon, so please check um. If you click on all the links, any link below, I will get a certain percentage with no extra cost to you. And basically, all the um, the money I get will go towards my channel, so I can get more things to do do um projects for you to learn. Okay, that is beautiful. I like that. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. That is nice. I like that. That's my own background that I found on on silhouette. You can Google background too and find your own background. Any other kind of background. All right, uh, and this is it for this video. Um, also check out mujkaclipart.com right now. You can be receive twenty percent off. Um, if you click on the link below, and she has a lot of nice clip arts. Follow me on Instagram and Pinterest, Miss Charm Gal. Everything I just said is in the link below. Don't hit, forget to give me a thumbs up if you think this video is helpful. You could do so many different things with these, okay? You could do these for memorials, for, you know, for families. I'm putting this on my wall, next to, on my wall with me and my kids. We just hanging. Like I said, it looks messy on the back, but you could go ahead and I can still put some more staples on here if I want to. I can tighten it up right here. I can put another one right here, which I will go ahead and do. And, um... Take the scissors and just cut all this extra fabric off. Okay, it's no no problem, but you can't really see this because it's gonna be hanging up on the wall. Okay, but if you're gonna sell it, clean it up, and there we have it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a blessed day.